Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and in this mini tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create some spinning coins and then collect them when you run into them. Um, now for this tutorial I will be using a third person controller, however you can use a first person controller if you want. The principle still works the same. Um, okay, so the idea of this is if say you're making a Super Mario clone or Sonic the Hedgehog clone or so something like that and you want to create spinning coins that you want to collect. So your first thing to do is up here, go to game object, it's a 3D object and we'll choose cylinder. First thing we'll want to do is we'll want to change the rotation on the x-axis to make it kind of stood up more. So we need to set that as 90. We'll change the scale so we need it pretty thin on the y-axis, since it's coin, so we'll set it to 0 0.01. Scale, um, we'll shrink it a little bit, so we'll have 0 0.5 on the x, and 0 0.5 on the z or z-axis. So let's drag it above our floor a little. So now, when we press play, we should be able to see our coin is there, but it's grey, and it's not doing a whole lot. So your next thing to do is find yourself a coin texture. Now I got this coin texture from Google. Um, there will be a link in the description of the video below, and uh, a credit to the person who actually made this nice coin. So if you drag and drop that into Unity here, or wherever you want it to go, and then it's just a case of dragging and dropping onto your cylinder. So now when you press play and walk over to your coin, your coin actually looks more like a coin. So for a few added little effects, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to game object. I'm going to go to light and point light. I'm going to drag and drop point light onto the cylinder here. You can rename these in your hierarchy if you want to, just to make things quicker. I'm not renaming at the moment. And then set your position to 0, 0 and 0. And that puts light on your coin. I'm going to drag it up just a touch. Change the colour to a yellowy kind of colour, I think. It should do. And I'll keep the intensity and range and everything as they are. So if I press play, oops, let's walk over to our coin. You can see it has a little kind of glow to it now. Not fantastic, but it's good enough for now. Okay, so to get the coin spinning, we need to write a script. So here in the asset window, right click, go to create, and we'll be writing this in JavaScript. So click on JavaScript. And we'll call this one coin spin. Double click and head into the script. And it'll open in Mono Develop. So if you've used Unity before, you should know what Mono Develop is. If not, it's a sub program within Unity that you can write your scripts in. Whenever you create a new script, it'll always give you a few lines of code preset. Delete everything, we'll start from scratch. Okay, so to spin our coin, we need to go to uh, function and update. So mono develop is cap sensitive. You need to ensure that your function has a lowercase f and your update has a capital U. Open and close brackets. We don't want to set anything in there. And then open curly bracket there. So what we want to do is transform and we want to rotate. So remember it's capital R on rotate and it's lowercase t on transform. And we need to set some stats here. So let's see, we'll set 0, uh, 5, uh, another 0 and space dot world. So it's a capital S and a capital W and you'll see why we've um, put space world in just a second. 
And remember, when you close your uh, bracket, to put a semicolon at the end of this line. So next line down, you need to close your curly bracket like that. Okay, so basically all this script is saying here is we want to transform and rotate the object that this script is applied to. So let's save that. So now head back into Unity and you'll see over here now we have the coin spin script selected that it has our script here. All we need to do is let's zoom in on our coin. Let's go right the way in. And we need to attach this script to our coin. So it's just a case of dragging and dropping right there. So now when we go to our cylinder, you'll see down here in the components it has coin spin. So if we press play, you'll see our coin is now spinning. It's exactly what we want. However, if we try collecting it, we just run into it and get stuck. So what we'll do now is we will set up this so we can collect our coin. So the first thing you need to do is go to your third person controller or first person controller and you need to go here on Ethan body if you're using a third person controller or the body of any third person controller you're using. It seems I'm using the default one, mine is named Ethan. You need to add component, physics, and you need a box collider. You then need to click is trigger. Just there. Okay, so that's all set up. So what we do now is down here, right click, create, we'll create another JavaScript. And we'll call this one coin collect. So double click or hit enter to open up in mono develop. And once again, because we've created a new script, it's automatically given us a few lines of code. Delete that. We don't need that. So what we want now is function on trigger enter. Remember, it's a lowercase f, capital O, capital T, and a capital E. And we want info and we need collider. So it's a capital C on the collider. Close bracket and open curly bracket. So the next line down, we need to destroy, and that's a capital D on destroy. And then in brackets, game object. So that's a lowercase g and a capital O on game object. Remember, once you close your, your uh, brackets and end the line, you need the semicolon. So next line down, uh, close curly bracket and save. Okay, so this script, again, is just uh, very small, like the coin spin one. And all we're saying uh, to do is when a trigger enters the object that this script is attached to, we want to destroy or collect it. So once we head back into Unity, and then we drag coin collect onto our coin there. Hopefully, when we press play, we should be able to collect it there. So you'll notice once we collected it, the light disappeared too. The reason the light disappeared is because that falls under the cylinder. So once this object is destroyed, as we stated here, every sub game object within it gets destroyed as well. So once you've done that, you have one coin. Best thing to do is click on your cylinder, control D to duplicate, and you can have multiple coins. Every single one now will be an exact duplicate of the original so they will all spin
and they can all be collected. There. And that is how you spin a coin and collect it when you enter it. So like I say, that can be used for a uh, sort of Super Mario clone, I guess, or, or Sonic the Hedgehog type game, or whatever you want. So I hope that's been uh, very educational for you. I hope it works, and thank you very much for watching.